Hey, hello, hi. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name's Kate. This is my library. In today's video, I have an unboxing for us to do. Let's do this. So, sorry for the croaky voice. Um, I have a bit of a, like, a head cold going on. It's not wonderful, but it's better than having COVID, that's for sure. So, so ignore the coughs, ignore the croaky voice. Um, kind of goes with the witch aesthetic, to be honest with you, but I have some parcels for us uh, to unbox from some different shops, uh, both Amazon and also from a candle company. Let's get into it. I'm just gonna go grab my trusty knife, one second. Okay. Oh no, pumpkin. Fred. Stay, Fred. Stay. Okay, so have my trusty Illumicrate knife. Let's get into it. The first one sounds like my puzzle. Um, so I did get a couple of different things. I recently got my tax back, so I was like, mm, treat yourself. That's just gonna be like my everyday life, to be honest, is just treat yourself. Because what creates better serotonin? Then buying things uh, and then reading them and then loving them and then putting on your shelf like a serious serial killer. So, you know, I swear this has a tear somewhere that you can. Is that the other end? No. Why? Why is this so hard? This tear it perforated opening, but I can't find any perforation. Lies. It's lies. Stab. Oh, it's pretty good at stab straight through. It's not going to be great at opening things, but I think we're just going to peel it open. Ha ha! It is my puzzle. Put that down before I stab myself. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my Halloween trick or treat hotel puzzle. Look how cute it is. Hopefully you can see that. It is a 500 piece one. It's called Buffalo. Um, it looks awesome, but also scary. Like home sweet, sweetheart hotel. Uh, we move bodies. That's a bit weird, but I love that. Um, this is from Amazon. I'm planning to uh, do this in an up and coming vlog um, that's coming up in the school holidays. So fingers crossed. Okay, the next book is, well, the next thing, next things from Dimix. Um, I think this is one of my pre-orders. I'm not 100% sure which one, because I did do a few pre-orders. Um, open. Ugh, I'm not very strong, but stab, stab. Don't stab myself. Yay! Ooh, pretty. I don't need one vouchers. Ah, oh, it's the battle of ever after. Not every love story is meant to be. So this is book two of Once Upon a Broken Heart. Oh, I got that pretty edition. Okay, so because it's one of the first editions, you've got under the dust jacket. Hopefully you can see that. And then look at that. That's gorgeous. Block me out. Oh, I love it. So much. So pretty. And then the map inside, which is just everything. Kind of shame it's not on the back as well, but I love the detail of this. You've got like a pendulum, a stone, a necklace, and a ring. Ooh. I'm very excited to read the next one. Uh, I did give the first one 5 out of 5, which is Once Upon a Broken Heart. I did not end up getting the first edition or first print edition, which has the Under the Dust jacket, but I'm so glad I got this edition. This edition is just a beautiful. Look at the rabbit with a, um, a crown, and then on the back you've got the clock. Okay, next one is I'm going to do the other big one. So I've already pre-opened this because I had to get other stuff out. But I got two books in this one. Kind of got a flash of that one, but anyway. 
Um, so this one's Wild is the Witch. This is book two, I believe, of... Um, what's the first one? It's over there. Nature of the Witch is the first one. So this is the second. It's pretty. It's also got beautiful under the dust jacket edition. So first editions come out with this beautiful under the dust jacket. It's kind of like a lavender kind of look. Um, this one is after a night of magic turns deadly, Iris Grey vows to never let another person learn she's a witch. It doesn't matter the witch's council found her innocent or that her magic was once viewed as a marvel. That night on the lake changed everything. Now settled in Washington, Iris hides who she is and vents her frustration by writing curses she never intends to cast. And while she loves working at the Wildflower Refuge, she refu she runs with her mother. She loathes Pike Adler, the witch-hating, inspiring author orthanthropist who uh, interns with them. It goes on further, but I won't go on further. But this is another one of those witchy books that I want to read for September and October. And the last book is a hardcover edition of Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Um, I have heard so many things about this beautiful book and how many people have loved it. Nothing under the dust jacket for this one. But pretty nonetheless. I do like the spine. That's gorgeous. Um, I've had learned so many things well, heard so many things about this book and I'm really excited to get into the actual story. It is a bit of a hefty one but the writing is quite large so that's nice. So it says there are many legends about my mother. Raised in the moon, raised on the moon, Shang Ying was unaware she was hidden from the celestial emperor she exil who exiled her mother for stealing the elixir of immortality. But when her magic flares in uh, Zing Yin's existence is discovered. She is forced to flee her home, leaving her mother behind. It just goes on and on, but I'm excited for that. It's going to be amazing. It's the first in a duology. Oh, I wonder when the second one's coming out, or if it's already out. No, he means probably already out. But yeah, they're the three books and the puzzle. And the last one is a beautiful package by Stormy Candle Co. So I have wrapped for them in the past and I do love their candles. One of my favourite candles they've actually discontinued. And I'm hoping that they will start it up again. Um, this one is kind of a Halloween but also like some scent ones that I've ordered. Um, just to see what they're like because I do love pumpkin scents. Um, I do love spice pumpkin scents as well. So we're going to have a look and see what do they smell like. I'm a little particular about my smells, so, you know, if I don't 100% love them, then that's okay. I have people that I can gift them to. If I can get this package open, it would be wonderful. It's boxed really nicely. Um, obviously, I can't smell really well at the moment. Um, I did buy a candle from Dust the other day, and then I got it home when I could smell. I was like, oh, no. No, we do not like that. So that's up on the shelf, turned upside down, so I can't smell it. <coughs> anyway, let's open it. Da, da, da. Oh, it's beautiful. So you've got the Stormy Candle Co. And it's got the care information on the back there. That's beautiful. Beautiful tissue paper. Ooh. Okay, so we've got the first candle I picked was Kindle Addict. Let's see if it will focus for you. Focus. There we go, beauty face. That one's gorgeous. And this scent is watermelon lemonade. Oh, that smells beautiful. And it's kind of got that beautiful, like a white grey kind of look. No glitter, but very cute. It's kind of grey. It reminds me of like the Kindle kind of look. But anyway, got some lollies. Do love me some lollies. Okay. And then I've got a pumpkin pie wax melt, and it's a single one here. Let's see if focus. It's gorgeous. It's quite large too. I can't smell a lot, but it's gorgeous with the glitter. And then I got a mega melt pack. So the mega melt pack was, I think this is the foodie one. Um, so it's this. If you 
can see. And then on the back, it's got all the glitters. So I've got avocado and mint up the top here, strawberry jam, creme brulee, marshmallow, uh, candy, popcorn, and apple. But how cute are they? Can't wait. They smell good. Let me just pop it. They smell pretty nice really excited to see what they are like i love the glitter as well so cute so yeah they're the ones that i got from stormy candle co i can kind of smell the 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 pumpkin pie now my nose is not great <laughs> and no i don't have covid <laughs> trust me i've tested i wouldn't be surprised if it was but anyway Ugh. okay i should put your this over here okay so they're all the things that i got in this haul look at all the pretty things i'm very excited about this one and the puzzle um but also all the others but i'm glad i got the first edition of that one and pre-ordered that because they sold out real quick but anyway hope you have enjoyed this mini unboxing i will try and do them a bit more regularly and um pack away like put the stuff aside so i can show you when i get them um i do tend to order stuff online a lot more than actually go into the store so i will try and save them up and give you a viewing soon but hopefully um by the end of next month or maybe the start of next month i would be able to put up some more reading vlogs because i do have holidays coming up as well as I really want to put up a witchy books, um, TB, not TBR, a witchy books reading and like what I thought and the views of that. So hopefully soon. But anyway, hope you have a wonderful afternoon, morning, night, wherever you are. Remember to keep reading, keep the magic alive and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>